So this is another Arteza sketchbook tour. Uh, and as you can see, I've said before, these are linen. This one hasn't quite survived. It's been torn, but this was late, sort of lockdown onwards, this one. So there's a real mixture of stuff in here. Um, I think this was a sort of Peter Sheila tutorial. You can see here my old uh, signature so that shows you how old this is so this is before I'd really got to grips with how to do foliage and things and it's 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 nothing wrong with it but it's just not my current style and a lot of this book is actually uh, really trying to figure out this is quite nice I've scratched in here with a card I think a credit card that's really effective. That's I've forgotten about that technique. I quite like that actually. I think that works quite well. It's great looking back at these because you realise how some of the some of the discoveries you made really good important discoveries you forgot you completely forgotten again. That's a nice little scene. This is a Helford scene. This is lock, uh, done in lockdown. This ink was given to me by a dear friend and she um, she got it from a friend of hers who makes the ink from oak galls which are collected on the Helford River so actually when I the one of the first drawings I did of using this ink was of the Helford River um, one of my favorite places in the world uh, it's very beautiful so this is all one just one ink some really Oh, some not uh, successful portraits. These are quite fun. This is using, uh, again, just a single ink. It is actually, I don't know whether you can see there's a bit of sheen on this one. That is the dark, that's the dark blue ink there. So it's all done using a single ink. And then what I've used is some bleach, just to bleach out uh, the reflections of the moon and things and obviously I spilled some there and made a big blob which was kind of spoiled it anyway ho hum so that's a Thames sailing barge and then I've been using similar techniques here so this is bleach that's dropped on after the sketch is done to add in some uh, sort of foliage they're quite nice those they're a lot nicer than I remember it's, uh, three years ago now oh my god that's terrible uh, it's a sort of winter scene. A friend of ours has a, a house with some land and they have planted some beautiful silver birches. This is an interesting experiment. Not wholly successful. Uh, some sketch face sketches and then this was done just in our local, one of our local woods and it's actually quite effective. Some challenges, I think these were drawing challenges from Instagram, I think that might be Canada or somewhere, and then this is just a little croft. I did a series of these way back, and uh, I sketched out a nice line drawing, and I did, I think it was like six prints, and then painted them up in different ways, just to see, to get a comparison in the feel, and here I've reinstigated an old signature of mine from my days as an industrial designer. This is nice. Um, I think my favourite thing about this is if you look closely, you can see there's a tiny bike, <laughs> which is unbelievably pleasing just there. Absolutely tiny. I don't even know whether you can, it'll focus on that, but anyway. So that's Scarborough Seafront. Nice little sketch. I've tried to use thick lines in the foreground, and then as we go back with thinner and thinner lines, and I've tried to use darker shadows in the foreground and not so dark in the background. It's not always worked. It's quite nice. Mm, there's something about the line work which is quite pleasing. I really like this. I was very proud of this when I did this three years ago. Uh, I, I felt like the splashing and the clouds really worked. I didn't paint the sea, which I'm not sure about now actually, but yeah, really good. I went through a phase of being obsessed with 
uh, Scottish lighthouses. I still am, really, but uh, look at the chromatography in these ink here. This is one ink, and it's splitting up into all its component colours. And there's like a like a band of blue fire across the horizon. That's absolutely beautiful. This is uh, Diamine Earl Grey ink, one of my favourite inks in the world, and it's just this most amazing things. So yeah, really nice. That quite graphic. Uh, this is a hard footpath. It says they're hard. I was done in the Peak District. Not sure about that. I don't like the cross hatching so much. I mean, just brown. It's just very brown. Uh, this was actually on holiday on the beach. Again, this was pretty much. I was doing some sketching here, and then a friend's uh, friend turned up, and it turned out that she was the lady who had made the ink that I got for Christmas. So we had a nice chat, and that was lovely. A nice little bit of um, happenstance. Again, this was a drawing challenge that's just pretty messy. I don't know why, it just didn't really work out that. And the same for that one, I'm not really a big fan. Not really massive fan of either of these, actually, either. This is good. I like this one. It's got some interesting bits in. Yeah, that's a, a nice walkabout. This one is, uh, I've used this one quite a lot. I scanned it and actually filled in the gap. Um, and this is a, actually, what would you call it? So this picture actually became a bit of a, um, a sort of seeing the light moment where I, I've actually taken a lot from this and I've, I've revisited this quite a few times um, to try and get a grip on quite why I like it so much and I think there's a, a freshness to it um, and it, it's really not a complicated image but it just works so well and I love this spot and I know this spot and I feel that this really encapsulates something about that spot anyway I'm blowing my own trumpet here but that was definitely a very successful one um, I'm not sure about that Again, these have just been done while I've been out and about. Just experimentation. I quite like that one. Uh, the old millstones, and I think some of the foliage has been quite interesting the way that's been done. You can't really see what that is, but that's an old stone wall. I need to put more stones in so you can you can read it as stones. An interesting take on Lindisfarne or Bambra, Bambra. And then this again is, is the quarry with all the millstones in. This is another abandoned building in the woods, an old mill. I think some of the, uh, some of the tree details here are lovely. I really like them. And there's the ivory crawling up the tree. Again, I think this is another drawing when I sort of realized certain things about line work that just seem to work really well for me and I, I like and it's actually half the battle is is liking your own work I mean this is a great example of what is actually quite a good sketch in many ways I mean technically it's it's quite accurate but it just leaves me a bit cold I think it's because it's all so fiddly and fine and it's it doesn't feel sort of massively human almost Whereas these more expressive blobs and thick lines and thin lines just have a lot more vivacity. It's a good word. Oh, my own capacity for verbose BS is just never ceases to amaze me. This is an exercise in layering, really. Quite simple layering, but it works quite well. Apart from the orange, I don't like that. <laughs> Again, this is like a pub sketch. It's quite fun. Oh, I love a JCB. And this comedy cow. Look at this gorgeous beast here. <laughs> but I do like a backhoe loader. And they've even put the type on there. Oh, that's great. And there's another one. 
very nice. And this is a, a sketch done in Victoria Key in uh, Sheffield. I've sat down here and I've just had a beautiful day. I think that would have been a February, so it would have been cold but uh, but bright. And again, some more hospital sketches while my mum was on her appointments. Like that Tesla, that's come out quite well. And this was a holiday at Wells on Sea. I sat in the car while waiting for the family and I just sketched this out and that's really lovely. And then we're on to the last few pages. So we've got a little boat sketch, one of uh, with a little red boat there. Uh, sorry, red, yellow. Got a million boat sketches. That was a technique I was revisiting from a, the blue and the red from Durham. I think it needs more contrast in that. That was a quick and funky sky job. A nice little drawing challenge. That was. Old House by Carlos, using the Sailor Food Pen. Oh, somebody said on a comment that it's fudder like Bocca. Uh, I think that's right, but anyway. It is what it is. These are fun. These little sketches were done, that was done at a history festival. And I was just playing with this new ink that I got. That's um, a museum up in Irving. The, I think it's the Maritime Museum. It's quite nice. A little puffer. Again, a little drawing challenge. That cat is quite big. I think it's probably a bit over big. And then a really nice little sketch from Filey Beach. There were cobble bean landed. Oh, this is nice. This has been done on one of my walks. Some nice little details here. I like this little line of this wall. Yeah, that was quite cute. Moor Street substation. Not sure about that. And then Florence, I believe. Is it Florence or Siena? With the bridge, with the things on. I can't remember, but this was done from a picture, but we have visited there, but this was just a reference picture. And then some really quick sketches. This was a sketch I think my sister did of me. And then a really nice uh, drawing of Sheffield to finish. I sat in the street and did this. So yeah, uh, for two years ago now. And I think I'd go. I think I'd got into my swing now with my sort of urban sketching style. I really like this. There's lots of interest in there. There's little splashes. There's different line widths. Uh, yeah, it's very really good. Yeah, so that's that. Another old sketchbook tour there. There's, I've got gazillions of these to bore you with, but I hope you found that interesting. There's a real mixture of styles in there. And uh, yeah, that's good. So thanks for that. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.